not that kind of rock, these kind of rocks, Disneyland rocks. Disney creates the best fences, walls, and barriers ever designed. Let's explore the immersion of Disneyland and why Disneyland rocks. And really, it's a Disneyland story about rocks? You may have noticed that over the years, there's been a few rocks at Disneyland. Man-made bedrock, mountains, caves, and eventually full mountain ranges. To explore where this design trick came from, let's start first with Disneyland's original mountain from 1959, Matterhorn. Birthed on a massive pile of dirt left over from Sleeping Beauty's castle named Lookout Mountain, Walt Disney had a much larger vision and wanted to build a real mountain in its place. Matterhorn is not only Disneyland's first mountain, but their first roller coaster and the world's first tubular steel coaster. Consisting of wood and steel infrastructure surrounded by man-made rock. With one lift hill per track, bringing riders to their peak, letting gravity take you back down the mountain, mostly unpowered. Matterhorn is layered with great creative problem solving hiding two separate roller coaster tracks, but it also hid the central pylon of the Disneyland Skyway and uses a pool of water to slow down the cart and cool off its brakes. How do you keep the magic of Fantasyland hidden from the technology of Tomorrowland? By placing a nearly 150 foot mountain between the two. Matterhorn can only be found in Disneyland where since the day it opened, it has been the highest point at the Disneyland Park. California Adventure would use the template of a mountain as a divisional wall to keep Hollywoodland and Carthay Circle feeling distant and secluded from Pixar Pier using the monstrous Grizzly Peak to masterfully divide and hide two very different lands from one another. Disneyland mountains don't always need to separate lands Sometimes they're used as anchor attractions to set up the outer perimeter of the park. For years, Splash Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain acted as walls to keep Disneyland away from the rest of the world. Even though they may be made by man, they feel real to those that believe in the magic and to those that want to escape from the real world and spend a day submerged in Disneyland. But what lives on the other side? Designing within constraint at its finest. What lives on the other side of these peaks? What creative problem do these modern mountain walls solve? Man-made cul-de-sacs of chipped and broken bedrock. The Disneyland immersion creates clean sight lines, making real world problems disappear. Beautiful to look at, the immersion of Disney creates the most elaborate fences, walls, and barricades Instagram has ever seen. The pride of California adventure, the town known as Radiator Springs, placed on the edge of the park, directly over its signature Cadillac mountain ranges, you'll find over 2,000 hotel rooms and nearly 2 million square feet of convention space. After making one mountain, I guess the next creative challenge is to create a mountain range. As Disneyland expands into the future, the city of Anaheim also grows. The massive 14-acre Galaxy's Edge forced Imagineers and forced Perspectives to keep the force inside of Batu and away from over six stories of 15,000 parking spaces. The big drop and peak of Splash Mountain keeps the Haunted Mansion show building, backstage work areas, and downtown Disney out of sight and out of mind. 
The outer shell of the Disneyland mountain ranges create exploration, drawing you deeper and deeper into the Disneyland story. But on the inside, we all know they promise and deliver on adventure. the recent Disneyland immersion trick, the backside of water. Using a waterfall to disguise the entrance to the Phantasmic Riverboat Floats Warehouse. Surrounded by rock, covered with dirt, accessible by water by turning off the falls, accessible by land from the Galaxy's Edge service entrance. Hidden by the Land Speeder Service Garage. With the limited amount of space and land in Anaheim, projects like Radiator Springs, the true prequel to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, these two projects prove that the Imagineers are pushing themselves to grow the park while keeping out a growing city. And one would say both of these experiences are made better by these creative challenges. But how does the storytelling of architectural immersion work? Let's try to break this down in about 20 seconds. Hand sculpted by artists at a miniature scale, then 3D scanned and rendered, printed into hangable frames with this guy. Frames are like small puzzle pieces, which then are covered with wire mesh. The puzzle pieces are then hung on supportive structures, which puts the puzzle back together, covered with magic plaster, and then back to hand carving and painting. Like many things in the creative space, you end up right where you started. They've been building rocks at Disneyland for over 60 years now, and they've gotten pretty good at it. It seems like any style of rock formation is possible. But let's imagine a Disneyland with no rocks. What if Matterhorn had no walls? What if the Galaxy's Edge was the parking's edge? What if the Radiator Spring Racers were the Anaheim Convention Center Racers? And what if Splash Mountain was just a splash? This is the Disneyland I never want to live in. No one would even argue that Disneyland feels different than other amusement or theme parks. The illusion is in its details, the design details, poured into every square inch, from every attraction to every park bench. The design details that make it seem like a real city. But the best design detail, possibly of all, was the decision made in the beginning to design the land in Disney land. The streams, rivers, ponds, lagoons, walkways, trails, and hills, and Disneyland rocks. Put all of these design elements together with the storytelling, nostalgia, and magic associated with the Disney brand, and you have the happiest place on earth. And its mountains are monuments to a commitment to create a safe space where everyone can be a kid for a day when you leave the real world on the other side 
of those Disneyland rocks. These kind of rocks. These, these kind of rocks. These kind of rocks. <laughs>